Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Terry was naturally dubious about rehiring Brad at the hospital given his track record of stirring up trouble there. Even after Terry took out Brad's file and listed all of his transgressions, Brad persisted in wanting another opportunity, arguing that it would be in Britt Westburn's best interests. Even though everything isn't finalized just yet, it appears that Terry will work his magic to get Brad the job. That might lead to more drama involving Brad, so let's see what Parry Shen had to say in a follow-up interview with SOD. Get ready for the antics that only Brad can deliver. I always jump at the chance to welcome more people to the Brad side, Shen urged. Shen also made hints that he will resume his soap Twitter trolling, and he celebrated his return to Gie with a humorous video. Parry Shen also added to the discussion on Cassandra James's own ex-account, where she had conducted a special queue and a session with viewers. James responded to a fan's suggestion that Brad should exercise extreme caution when making his next DNA swap by saying, he better not, but is changing one's DNA truly a crime? Before James urged him not to start with her, Shen inquired, We would have loved to see more on-screen time spent with Brad and Terry after that adorable exchange. James was unable to provide any details about their potential future plot, but she did encourage fans to remain tuned. With Brit gone, will Terry and Brad form a new friendship? Could Brad involve Terry in any of the antics that Shen alluded to? According to General Hospital spoilers, Anytime Brad leaves, bad news seems to follow him. Stay tuned for updates on any new drama and our predictions about what that will mean for Terry. Regretfully, the Gear It writers might be leading John down a problematic path that might lead to his engaging in criminal activity of his own. Agent Cates has been made into a villain by the show, so they might as well let him take a radical step. If John is unable to secure Sonny's imprisonment, Agent Cates might be forced to act dangerously. Before, Sonny was the one on the verge of a breakdown and would have ended up in jail if his prescription drug issue hadn't been resolved. But now that he's back on the proper dosage, Sonny is calmer and more collected than John. If John believes Sonny would get away with everything, what would happen? Will Agent Cates conclude he has to crawl down in the muck and discard all morality? Eventually, John might lose it and turn to face Sonny with a weapon, Jason might be forced to take action if it results in Agent Kate's firing at Sonny or threatening to. Will Jason shoot John to save him, or will he take a bullet for Sonny? That would really seal the deal on Jason's return to Sonny's right-hand man and put their previous betrayals behind them. Regarding John, it appears that he is making his way toward the exit. Thus the question now is likely if he will survive to tell the story. After pushing things too far, Agent Cates can be taken off to prison himself or even lose his life. We will offer you further predictions about what is ahead for John as he is now going through some character updates that can only result in bad news. According to General Hospital spoilers, Sonny will triumph in the end. So tune in for his last confrontation with Agent Cates. Cates abruptly gets to his feet and exclaims, No, you're going to make a mistake. He turns to face Sonny. According to Kate's, Christina's father is planning to send her on a plane to flee the country as soon as she exits the courtroom. The judge informs Kate's that despite his badge, he hasn't yet been found in contempt. She threatens to put Kate's in jail if he doesn't turn in the evidence and file the necessary paperwork for his RICO accusations within the next 48 hours. Kate's, enraged, queries the prosecutor about that. The prosecutor informs Cates that he gave him a poor case and that he must straighten things out or else he will face charges and lose his badge while incarcerated. Sonny asks, How did I do? As he glances at Alexis, she Mommy gives a smile. There. She meets Sam outside the courtroom and finds out what transpired. Sam reports that Cates had a full-blown tantrum and their mother held her own. Sam claims that Cates did not provide any proof and could face legal action. Since there is no evidence and Kate's is merely attempting to reach Sonny, she believes the accusations against Christina will be dismissed. 
Sam says it's all ridiculous because Christina recently lost her kid, and instead of Sam apologizes as soon as she realizes what she said. Why wasn't Molly here? She asks. Molly concedes that the court didn't want her to know about the hearing since it would be interpreted as favoritism. She just learned about it from a friend. She sobs because she and TJ were talking about their daughter's burial at the same time. Sam gives her sister a hug. Alexis, Sonny, and Christina head back to her house. Christina tells her mother that she did well in court and expresses gratitude to her parents for their support. Sonny promises to always look out for Alexis, saying they love and adore her. Kate visits the gallery and confides in Ava about Christina's detention and the judge's decision to release her. Ava inquires about Christina's arrest as she was unaware of it. He clarifies that he went ahead and arrested Christina after they discussed her story regarding the images. But she's walking now. If he's spoken to Scott, Ava queries. Ava is concerned since she hasn't heard from him, and he hasn't. She believes she will require legal counsel more than before. Kate's claims that Scott is her sole remaining chance and that she doesn't need him. He informs Ava that she must make the remark he requests, and she will do so in his preferred manner. They can handle this tomorrow, she replies, adding that it's late and she's sleepy. Kate's declines, stating he has 48 hours to resolve this matter or face consequences. He says they're going to get started right away and polish her statement. Nina calls someone out in the open. She claims to be so desperate that she is reaching out to them. They owe her a favor, she says, and she's prepared to collect. Molly is prepared to name their child on General Hospital after this episode. Christina is informed by Alexis that Molly and TJ will never have to know what she had in mind to do. Joss informs Trina that Ava will be imprisoned, but Trina disagrees. Kate's informs Ava at the PCPD that Sonny only reacts to pressure. Sonny informs Jason that Anna would be used as a lure. Someone has to make a choice, Anna tells them. We would have loved to see more on-screen time spent with Brad and Terry after that adorable exchange. James was unable to provide any details about their potential future plot, but she did encourage fans to remain tuned. With Britt gone, would Terry and Brad form a new friendship? Could Brad involve Terry in any of the antics that Shen alluded to? According to General Hospital spoilers, any time Brad leaves, bad news seems to follow him. Stay tuned for updates on any new drama and our predictions about what that will mean for Terry. We will offer you further predictions about what is ahead for John as he is now going through some character updates that can only result in bad news. According to General Hospital spoilers, Sonny will triumph in the end, so tune in for his last confrontation with Agent Cates. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.